Hello YouTube and today let's talk about the differences between raster graphics and vector graphics. So if you're new to designing or if you're not related to design at all, you might have heard about these two terms, raster graphics and vector graphics. So what are the differences between these and where are they used? So let's start with raster graphics. So you see those images that you see on Facebook, someone posted out the pictures that you take from camera and most of the images that you see on web. So those are actually raster graphics. Vector graphics on the other hand is used for uh, editing purposes and can be sometimes found on web. So what are the differences between these type of graphics? So let's talk about them. So raster graphics are pixel based. You see your monitor, in the monitor each of the uh, different uh, pixels are there, they light up in different way so that you see an image on your screen. So raster graphics acts in a similar way. So all of the images that you see are actually coded into pixels so they are, sto they are stored in a pixel based like information. So different pixels store different sort of color information in raster graphics. And these kind of graphics are very very popular for storing detailed images. For example, a picture. When you take a, a cam picture from a camera, there are a lot of details that needs to be stored. And for that, what is used? Raster graphics. Raster graphics is also known as bitmap graphics because they are bits of pieces of information mapped out. So all of the pixels are independent of one another, which is great for high level of detail information. So you see your images. Uh, and high level of detailed textures, they are st all stored as raster graphics. So the common formats of raster graphics are JPEG, BMP, PNG, uh, GIF, all of you see. So these are the image formats which you might already be familiar with and they are all raster graphics, meaning the pixels are independent one of one another and they represent different brightness which is great for detailed level of information just like that. What about vector graphics then? Vector graphics is very good for flat graphics. So if there's flat, less amount of detail with flat colors, a bit of simple gradients, then vector graphics is the way you go. So you things like logos or straight graphics, simple plain graphics, they are all uh, better to be stored in vector graphics. So graphic designers use this a lot and vector graphics is not stored as pixels they are stored as mathematical formula so what that does is that whenever you draw out some uh, shape in vector graphic then what it does it it stores the curvature it stores the mathematical formula and the file size consumed by a vector graphics is a lot less so what are the differences then so what are the differences between raster graphic and vector graphic don't they just look the same my seem like same in the beginning but raster graphics as you were to see it can store a lot of details but as you scale it in as it is pixel based it will pixelate out meaning you start losing details so there's only much information that a raster graphic can store and once it reaches a certain point once you zoom in what happens is that you lose the detail of the information and inf uh, image just pixel out but in case of vector graphics, since everything is stored as a mathematical formula, no matter how much you enlarge it, the information is still there. Meaning the picture quality is great, even if you zoom it maybe thousand times larger. So that's how detailed a vector graphics can become. Again, yes, your computer monitor does display uh, everything using pixels, even vector graphics, you scale it in a certain uh, way what the, your computer screen does is it calculates everything out as a raster graphics and then displays it out even for vector graphics. So let's talk about raster graphics again. So raster graphics is based on pixels. Your monitor is based on pixels as well. So it takes very less calculation. It just needs to map out the pixels and display it on screen. And to edit out raster graphics, uh, but edit out raster graphics, uh, softwares like Photoshop, softwares like GIMP are used, which you might be very familiar with as well. And in case of 
vector graphics, they are stored as mathematical formula and the format they use are not very common. So the format, common formats for uh, vector graphics are SVZ and uh, SWF, which may not be the common format that you're used to. And uh, editing softwares like Illustrator and Inkscape are actually used to edit uh, illust um, uh, such uh, uh, vector graphics. But the thing is that since your computer monitor does not uh, display vector graphics right away, what your graphic card does is it converts the vector images into raster first. So there's a bit of a conversion going on. So it is a bit heavier on the graphics. So old computers might not be able to support vector graphics really well. So it might be slow. They might support it, but it might be slow. So what? most of the people do, most of the graphic designer do, is that they convert the end vector graphics in the required amount of resolution and converts them into raster graphics and uploads it. That way, what happens is that uh, yeah, even the old computers are able to support it out and even computers without much graphics is able to support it really well. So most of the images that you find online, most of the images, even the logos and everything else, they maybe in raster format. They maybe originally have been made as a vector, they may be uh, saved as a um, ra raster format. So some of them may be vector, but most of them will be raster itself. And they are, they are, and these are the main differences between raster and vector. Raster is pixel based, meaning uh, individual pixels do not link up with each other, but can be, uh, store a really high quality detail pic um, picture uh, but on the other hand, the spectra graphics, which is very low on file size, it is very good for uh, 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 very good for uh, flat graphics and lines. And no matter how much you zoom in, but it, the uh, loss of quality is not there. But in turn, it does take some processing power of, of your graphic card to display it on your monitor. So these are the major differences. And hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.